Hi everybody and welcome to a return visit YouTube video. It's the first one we've ever done, I think, of a return to a site that we've installed. And this one is a video that many, many people on our YouTube have requested, mainly on the first video. We'll leave a link to the first video in the description for this one so you can look back on how this was all installed. Let's just recap quickly now what we've actually installed at this site just so you don't have to watch that full video to understand what's going on. So behind me, you'll see there are 12 SunPower 375 watt panels, all black with sole skirt around them. There's exactly the same on the other side of the roof, which is south facing. In the garage, we've got an eight kilowatt solar edge single phase inverter with a Tesla Powerwall 2 battery. Now this has all been installed over a year now. Uh, it was installed in late April last year and so all the figures that we're discussing in this video are going to be from April to April. But the purpose of this video is we're going to show you how these north facing panels have performed because we've had so many people ask us, is it worthwhile having north facing panels? And up until we did this install, my answer was no. My answer now is yes. So to give you a bit of a, a behind the scenes view on what the conversations were like with this customer when we were planning this install, we we're trying to get them to only put panels on the other side of the roof because that was directly south facing. We'll show you in a little while exactly the orientation of this building so you can see how south and north facing these roofs are. But we were trying to get the customer to, to just put them on the south facing roof because we didn't deem it worthwhile putting them on the north side. I've been proved wrong and I'm happy to be proved wrong because since doing this installation a year ago, we have fitted more people with north facing panels because this one here was the trailblazer in that for us and i cannot believe the figures that we're getting out of these north facing panels not today not currently because you'll see there is a heavy layer of frost on top of them but over the course of that april to april which we're going to go through you'll see how much these north facing panels have, have generated so yeah let's get into those figures and let's have a look at this installation Okay, so let's have a little refresher. We'll actually go and then walk around this install now. So you've got, we've got these panels up here that you've seen. We've got the 12 SunPower 375 watt all black panels with the solar skirt and exactly the same on the south roof. This is north, the other one's south. Perfect. Let's go and have a little look around the side of the house where we've got the Tesla gateway. So just here, we've got the Tesla gateway. So this is the same gateway that the new Tesla uses actually as well. And in here, we've got our circuits for our Tesla power wall, our solar PV, and our solar PV Modbus energy meter, which is in this box just below us here. Those cables go up into the loft, back down in the garage, which is where we're gonna go next. We've got an earth rod just um, in the path behind us. This is kind of the brain of the Tesla system, but I'm not gonna go over all of that again. That's not the purpose of this video. Have a look at the original video where we walked through that full system, but let's head on into the garage now and uh, we will have a look at where the inverter is and the battery. So we are in the garage, as you will see, and this is where all the goodness happens. We've got the solar edge inverter. So this is eight kilowatts. We've got our DC surge protection, our two DC isolators, our AC isolator, our generation meter, and our Tesla power wall. 13.5 kilowatt hours of storage capacity in this with a five kilowatt charge and discharge rate. But that's as far as I'm gonna, I'm tempted to go into it in a lot more detail, but that's the purpose of the first video. This one is more about the performance of the system. So how well has this system performed? So in the lifetime of this full system, this system has generated 11,584 kilowatt hours of energy. So that's a hell of a lot of power that's been delivered into this property for it to use either via the battery and then discharge later on or back to the grid um, as an export to receive a payment. 
but this property has generated a lot of power is what i'm getting at um, and it's only been in just over a year or so and it's been generating really well so i'm going to cut to the chase and we're going to have a look at some figures now because that is the important part and the main reason that we're filming this video let's take a look okay let's have a little look at the solar edge app then i'm not going to do a full app review because We've done loads of them and I don't want to waste time on this video. With This video is about how these north panels have been producing, how well they've done compared to the south facing ones. That's the big question. So let's just have a look at the total generation for both the years. So 2023, we have generated 5,350 kilowatt hours. And in 2024, we've done 6,640 kilowatt hours. Now, 2023 wasn't a full year. You can see there, January, February, March, and only a bit of April the system was producing because it wasn't installed at the start of the year. It was April that it was installed. So that's why that's a lot less. And 2024, we're just missing December. So we've nearly got a full year this year, but we're doing good numbers. But let's have a look at what the what's happening actually on the roof. So you can see here, this is the yearly view. So this is how the panels, how each individual panel has generated in 2024 so far. So we'll have a look at this bottom set of panels first. That's the south facing roof. And we've got, let's just take one panel, for example, 1.1.1, which as I'm looking at my phone is the bottom at the top uh, left. And that one has produced 371.62 kilowatt hours this year so far. If we look at the one effectively just over the ridge on the other side of the roof, that one's done 199.83 kilowatt hours. So that panel, even though it's pretty much dead north, which we'll have a look at the compass in a minute, has produced nearly 200 kilowatt hours. So it's contributed to this property 200 kilowatt hours, which isn't a small amount. It's a really, really good amount of power. So earlier on today, before, before we came here, I did some statistics and printed off some information, which I'm going to go through with you now. So I'm going to look to the <laughs> look to the side, which is where all my notes are. The total generation from April to April, which is the field of, of data that we're taking it from, from when it was installed to April in 2024, the system has produced collectively on both arrays 7,014.53 kilowatt hours. So collectively, that's how much it's generated from April to April. The south facing panels, so the best panels uh, that produce the most, they've produced 4,556.55 kilowatt hours in total. And the north facing panels have produced 2,457.98 kilowatt hours. So that means that the north facing panels have generated 53.94%, let's just call it 54%, 54% of what the south has done. So they've contributed um, about half as much as what the south facing panels have done. So that is a big amount of power. And these panels are pretty much dead on north. So if you have any, if you have a north east or north westly facing roof, you could expect that 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 to increase, uh, that percentage to increase because if it's east more eastly facing on your northeast roof, then you're going to generate more in the morning. Um, than if it's dead north and if it's westerly you're going to generate a little bit more in the evening if it's the, than if it was dead north so let's just take that as a total then we, we know we've generated 7014.53 kilowatt hours this year how does that translate how does that north face how do those north facing panels how in total what have they contributed to that total amount in percentage terms it means that 35% of that 7,000, those 7,000 kilowatt hours have come from that north facing roof. So 65% have come from the south, which you would expect. That's the best facing roof you can have, depending on shading, but as long as there's no shading, that's the best facing roof you can have. But 35% of the total generation of this property has come from the north facing roof. If we'd only fitted those panels on the south, like I suggested, then we would have lost nearly two and a half thousand kilowatt hours this year. And we're already here doing the install. The cost of doing the installation, a lot of that has already been factored in to doing the, the, the south facing installation. There's obviously a bit more scaffolding cost. There's the cost of the panels. There's, you know, slightly more cabling costs, few more isolators, but the cost of getting us here, the inverter, the, the labor, a lot of that, or a big chunk of that has already been factored in. So actually we are, we are making the full installation cheaper for the output that you get because we've got 35% increase in generation because of those north facing panels. For me, 
that is incredible. And this roof was gifted with the fact that it had equals amount of space on the south and the north facing roof. But if there was lots of vents or there was a few velux windows or whatever dormer windows on that south facing roof and we had a large amount of north facing space like this one, then this site for me makes the argument strongly that to utilize that north facing roof. And I think hopefully you agree that it does make that argument and 35% of the total generation has come from the north and those north facing panels have done about 54% of what the south facing ones have. That's, that's unbelievable numbers. And so hopefully if you've got a north facing roof, you will now consider having north facing panels. Okay, so we've ventured back out into the cold. I'm not happy about it, but we're out here now. <laughs> but this time we're at the south facing part of the house. So you'll be able to see those same sun power 375 watt panels above me. But these ones are in the sunshine because these are pretty much directly facing south. What we're going to do now is I'm just going to show you on my phone with the compass the exact orientation because like I mentioned in the run through of the figures, if your house is slightly more easterly or westerly facing, then the north side of the building will generate more. This south facing side might generate slightly less. So it'd be interesting to see how that would all work out and that might be our next case study. But this one is pretty much north south. So I'm going to get my phone out now. I'm going to get the compass up and we'll have a little look as I put this on the wall what, what the actual orientation is. If you follow me over here, if you can get into there, Dan, can you see that screen? So we're at 186, 65. So 180 degrees is bang on south. So we're sort of four or five degrees off directly facing south. So that means that we're pretty much four or five degrees off facing north. So if we head round to the back of the building, we'll do the same. So we we'll do the same again. I've got the my phone on the back of the house now. So you can see here that we're that we've got four degrees from north on this side so you're not going to find many properties that are more north and south facing than this one and like i say if it was more this way then we're going to pick up some more morning sun if it's more this way more westerly we're going to pick up some more uh, evening sun but where it is now this is literally the worst <laughs> roof you could have for solar or so i thought before we did this install so this full video has, has led me to think, why has all of this happened? Like why, why have those north facing panels been performing so well? Why have they generated about 54% of what the south facing ones have? And the only thing I can really come to is that solar panels don't need direct sunlight to generate. It can be reflected light. And if you have an overcast day, you're getting a lot more reflected light from the cloud cover over the top but also just daylight and it reflecting off other things, the trees, the whatever's around, you were getting that reflected light. And I don't think many people are talking about that. And I think this is a really important thing to highlight because like I say, putting panels on the north facing roof could be the difference between you covering your annual usage or not. And if you've already got an installer, be it us or whoever else, they're doing an install, why not bang 10 panels on your other side? Panels are fairly inexpensive nowadays. The cost is getting the install to site, the battery storage, the inverter. Yes, the panels do introduce a cost, the rail does, the scaffolding does. But if you've already spent a good chunk of money getting the install to site, why not add an extra 10 panels on that other side and, and help cover your winter usage? You're going to have more than you need during the summertime, but that extra 100 watts that you're able to generate from your north facing panels might be the difference between you having to buy some power in or use just your own solar power. So hopefully this video has kind of ran you through all of that. And as ever, if you want to chat to a solar company that wants to design systems using all of this, <laughs> this, this information that we've learned over the years, like this install here, and lots of other case studies that we've had where we've been proved wrong and now adopt things like this with locations of equipment and, and technology, then we'd love to start your process of getting you a system designed installed and maintained so please reach out if you have any more questions about this video or if you'd like an installation done thanks very much for watching the video 
and please leave any comments or questions in the comments section. Thanks very much.